we really thought about how do we um, pick the citizens' views on response, emergency response, because at that time, we're seeing a lot of ambulances moving within the community. But then we ask ourselves, are these reaching every single person or it's only a few of us who are in Greater Kampala that get to see them and what can be done? So at that point, we decided to uh, execute the survey to just understand the Ugandans' experiences. And by the time we're executing it, I think at that time we had come out of the, of the lockdown. So I wanted to know what Ugandans think about um, the emergency response and the ambulance infrastructure. The strategy is premised on provision of effective and cost-effective evidence-based and low-resource EMS services guided by WHO, Emergency Care System Framework, and these are the following key points. To increase access to on-scene medical emergency care services from 50%, to increase medical care services to 50% by 2025, to increase the proportion of acutely ill or injured patients receiving ambulance response care within one hour to 50% by 2025, to increase availability of quality emergency care in 19 regional referral hospitals, 147 district hospitals, and 193 health center force by 2025. And finally, to continue improve and sustain operations of national emergency medical systems. So we see that about 19% of Ugandans say that they know of an ambulance that can be called to their location or to their village. And for these ambulances, the higher number mentioned that they know of the ambulance provided by the Member of Parliament. Then 8% mentioned that they know of ambulances provided by the Ministry of Health. So our question or our ask to the Ministry, how do we ensure that we have a, a registry that is able to document every single ambulance that is available in Uganda, so that in case of an, a medical emergency, it's easy to mobilize those resources and dispatch them. We have increased community awareness and creation of response to emergence. This is being piloted in Masaka region under the COVID project since 2018 to date. All, all the moments the people are encouraged to use access numbers for Naguru. These numbers, please, Maria, let's spread them. Naguru, Masaka, and the police toll-free number, which is 999, and other toll-free numbers provided by Minister of Health.